The new WL Toys 104072 Street Basher is the perfect option for people who are looking for a cheaper alternative to the armoring fraction, but unfortunately, it's not without its faults. This was one of the most anticipated releases for WL Toys fans this year, but I have to say it has been a little bit disappointing. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the six things I hate about it and why. Overall, I was actually very impressed with the performance of the 104072, but with a few small changes, it could have been so much better. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight on with the first thing I hate about it. A while ago, I reviewed the buggy version of this chassis, which is known as the 104001. And while it was an epic one temp scale change from the mini stuff we're used to seeing from WL Toys, it did have one major flaw. The chassis is quite thin and the lack of a top chassis brace means the chassis was prone to flexing. This was also present in the brushless 104002 violent version, which was a shame as that buggy was released this year and I did expect WL Toys to have fixed that issue. The Street Basher is essentially exactly the same chassis and guess what? The same issue still exists. Now the Street Basher is going to be used primarily on flat and even surfaces, so I don't think it's gonna be a major issue, but it's still there. I believe there are solutions out there for the buggies, which were in desperate need of an upgrade, especially for people who intended to bash them hard. WL Toys have had plenty of time to fix this common issue and make some changes, but they still haven't. Moving on, let's talk about price. And I actually did a comparison to all the armoring fraction models out there. Check this out. This thing costs £182 or $210 at the moment. Now let's do some comparing. The Infraction Mega costs £309 in the UK, $249 in the US, which I think is a great price. The Infraction Free SBLX is £439 in the UK and $399 in the US. Finally, the Infraction 6S, the bad boy version, is £699 in the UK and $649 in the US. Now today I check prices again and this thing is currently selling for £199 or $220. It's not cheap, especially for a WL Toys. This is their most expensive model to date and for that price I expect it to be a lot better than it actually is. I think it's worth closer to £150 which is about $170 and if they lowered the price a little I think it has potential to become a very successful model indeed but at the current price it's just a little bit too expensive. This thing is a drift beast and what that means is you will be going through lots of sets of tyres. Looking around, there doesn't seem to be many options out there which are readily available and a good fit for this chassis. Trying to find a spare set of the stock wheels and tyres is also proving to be difficult at the moment and looking on all popular sites, there doesn't appear to be a huge amount listed anywhere. WL Toys really need to make access to tyres easier as owners will be going through so many sets, especially if you're having some fun with this truck. This platform is incredibly upgradable and putting even more power through it will also mean you're going to wear the tyres quicker. I'm also not a huge fan of the tyre design. I would have preferred to have seen a plain black design. I don't really like the blue on the wheels. The 104072 comes with a 3000 milliamp hour 2S LiPo, which is one of the largest packs we've seen so far included with the WL Toys, which you would think means longer runtime. Now you're going to be having so much fun with this truck. I only managed around 10 minutes of runtime, which isn't really a lot. And if this thing had more space for a larger battery, you would be getting even longer run times. Most one temp scale platforms can support much bigger batteries, sometimes all the way up to 5,000 milliamp hour and over. WL Toys always seem to utilize much smaller batteries than the well-known brands out there. And I think it's all to do with cost as they only sell ready to run vehicles and including a 3,000 milliamp hour instead of a 5,000 milliamp hour, for example, that would actually mean higher cost. I much prefer running larger batteries compared to having lots of smaller batteries. Let's talk about the included electronics on the 104072 then, because they're certainly not great. You get a 45 amp ESC, a 3650 brushless motor, and a free wire servo. Not the best or the strongest electronic setup for this size of car, and certainly a little weak. I would have maybe liked to have seen a 60 amp ESC and maybe a slightly larger motor, 
but that's just me being a little fussy. Speeds of 34 miles per hour on 2S and 47 miles per hour on 3S were achieved, which isn't too bad, but there's definitely room to upgrade to squeeze even more speed out of this chassis. Considering this car costs over £200 or $220, I really expected more. WL Toys could have spent more time working on the electronic setup for this car instead of recycling parts they had available from the previous buggies. This isn't the first time WL Toys have done stuff like this, and I'm sure it won't be the last. So the final thing I hate about the WL Toys 104072 Street Basher is the LED lights and terrible looking body shell. This car comes with an extensive LED lighting setup including headlights, brake lights and LED light bars but I think it's all a bit unnecessary. Sure LED lights are great but there is a limit. This thing's like your very own personal light show and the worst part is you can't even switch them off or adjust them from the transmitter. This is odd as there is a mode button on the transmitter but it doesn't actually do anything. I would have preferred if they skipped the LEDs completely and included something useful such as a gyro which would have really helped with stability and improved the performance of this truck. So I'm not a huge fan of all the lights and I do think money could have been saved in this department. Moving on let's talk about the body. This thing is like Marmite, you either love it or you hate it. Personally I hate it. WL Toys seem to release so many of their cars with wild looking colour schemes which none of us really like. Or maybe you do and if you are one of those people drop a comment down below and let me know which body is your favourite. Give me a nice sleek simple and stylish body over something weird and colourful like this any day. So I'm really not a fan of the body and I'm hoping they offer clear bodies or aftermarket companies create new versions so we can paint our own. So there we go then, that was the six things I hate about the WL Toys 104072 Street Basher. This is an awesome truck, but it certainly has some faults. The current price I think is a little too expensive, and if this thing was closer to £150 or $170, I think it would be more popular and appealing to most people. Once you cross the £200 mark, you start to enter into the well-known branded territory, and picking up a second-hand Infraction Mega, for example, would probably be doable if you look in the right places. So come on, WL Toys, in future, I would love to see more simple colour schemes, larger battery trays, and improved electronics. I would also like to see WL Toys mix it up completely and offer us a one 8 scale buggy or similar or even some rolling chassis because a lot of people do tend to fit their own electronics so come on WL Toys give us what we want. Also for WL Toys to stay at the top as one of the best cheap RC companies they really need to make changes and get things right especially if prices are going to be staying high. They do need to keep an eye on their quality control as well because I know there is a few people out there who have been suffering with faulty ESC and just general issues with some of their models, quality control is seriously important. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure you let me know in the comments section what you think of the WL Toys 104072 Street Basher. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one. Take care.